All right, this is an update on the Cortland BC-305. Uh, so I've taken it apart again. And um, so I recently made a video taking this uh, camera apart because I thought uh, that it was so low quality. I thought that it was a fake camera. I didn't even think it was a real camera, but um, it's definitely not a fake camera because uh, there is a tube in it, but there's very little space. I mean, sorry, there's a lot of space in it, and you can see the circuit boards are like, look at all that space. So, um, when I first turned this camera on, when I got it, uh, I got no video output at all when I plugged it into a monitor. The red light in the viewfinder, fake optical viewfinder, what is it? This red light. This was red light was in the viewfinder, but I've taken it off. This red light was lighting up. The camera was getting power, but I was getting no video output. And so uh, I just put it back together, and it sat. Um, it sat uh, behind my desk, just sitting in its box for a few months. And um, and so uh, I'm uh, coming back to this because. I want to try it. I wanted to try to figure out the problem why I was not getting video out. So I took it apart, and I further took it apart this time. You can see it this time. I've actually unscrewed the board so it can lift out. And so I thought the first thing I thought was that um, maybe the wire that goes from the target, which is that wire is right there, this thing right here. I thought that that wire that could have a bad connection or be broken because I've heard that's the thing that could happen. People have talked about that before. And so, um, it, obviously it's not broken. And I pulled it and it didn't come out. So, um, I looked at the, uh, the connector. This right here is the connector, the, the wire for the target plugs into. And then here's like, the amplifier for the, the video from where the, that wire plugs in. Uh, so that plugs in right there. And although the wire, um, the wire is making a connection, but look what isn't. That right there looks like, uh, it's impossible, I'm trying to get it to focus. That right there, and you can see it even says target on the board right there. I don't know if you can see that. That solder joint on the right. Not this one above target. The one that's labeled 2 looks like it's cracked. And sure enough, it is. Because it's going to be not going to show up on camera. But I have... Anyway. Um... I might try to get up and get a real close up shot of that. But anyway, that is a cracked solder joint. And um, and when I wiggle this connector, you might be able to see that moving. The the entire wire moves in and out. So it's completely uh, broken. The solder joint is not making a connection at all. And it's the solder joint that holds the connector to the board. The wire that plugs into that connector is a wire for the target. So, all I will have to do is just put a soldering iron on that and re-solder it. And uh, I think that that might be our problem. So, let's do that. So, here we are with the soldering iron and some solder. And I'm just going to put the soldering iron on that and add some solder. And there we go. That solder joint. I think I can get that a little bit better. There we go. So that's re-soldered. So I also noticed that these solder joints right here, these three, also look cracked. So I'm going to... Um, 
reflow those. And that looks good. And then the next one. Come on. There. And there we go. These a little more. Alright. That looks pretty good. Okay, well there it is. The Cortland VC305. I've uh, re-soldered those, those four solder joints on that board that that um, were uh, looks like they were um, broken and so now it is the moment of truth we can turn it on and uh, and see if it works we're going to turn it on in three two one it's working yep it did work it's about to warm up and I hear it. Yep, here we go. It works. Um wow, that is a <laughs> I was right. This is exciting. Um the picture is uh <laughs> wow. All right. So there we go. That is what the Cortland VC305 looks like. <laughs> wow. Um, yep, so I was right about, <laughs> this is great, I was right about, uh, that was the problem. It was just, uh, broken solder joints. Wow. So, uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna do a direct feed capture. <laughs> I can't zoom because this camera does not have a zoom lens, but it worked. All that was the problem was just uh, just a few broken solder joints. So there you go. The Cortland VC305 in operation.